Welcome back, everybody, to the Cave of Wonders. This is Mr. Wonder Boy. We are playing StarCraft. This game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, so now uh, let's start integrating our weapons and stuff. Building a machine shop is almost always a uh, good strategy to start with. Oh, there's somebody coming this way. I saw somebody going around here somewhere. Might want to plop some uh, missile turrets down around just to make it easier. What are you doing, Jim? Thank you. Jeez. Yeah, build, build a missile turret right there. It'll give it you some air cover. All right, upgrade uh, vulture thrusters. That'll be helpful. Stimpack, absolutely. Build an armory so we can start creating more Goliaths. That'll be helpful. And of course, since we need a drop ship, we're going to eventually need to build a starport. This game is a lot more fast-paced than the uh, later released game, uh, Warcraft 3. But that's okay, because I think this one, uh, it fits. I think they both fit. That one had a lot more, kind of, um, a lot more, what's it called, all of a sudden I'm blanking, RPG elements to it. This game is a lot more just being able to quickly produce armies and, and just hit hard fast. Really nice. Alright, we're gonna get a ComSat station. Since now it will prove useful. Make some more marines. Marines plus uh, goliaths is a pretty effective combination. Um, although uh, marines fire bats I find to be a bit more effective. Research. And I just think, and then they can't really use uh, fire bats and goliaths together because they're just too specialized, I think. But uh, a mixture of all three, I think, is best. Ultra mines will be good. Now, the ComSat station, which I'm going to uh, set to zero, is just a scanner, which allows us to, to give us sight. So now we can see exactly what's in our way. As you can see, quite a lot of anti-air. All these guys attack air, and these guys are those things that brought down this ship in the cinematic. So, not easy to punch our way through. And they're also detectors, so you can't just use wraiths to uh, fly through them. Give me some to shoot. Let's upgrade uh, our marine range. Now we can build Goliaths. Now, uh, definitely get ship plating and uh, vehicle weapons, since uh, we're going to need it for uh, going to need it for any uh, drop ships. They need to have enough uh, defense to last. Oh yeah. Research complete. All right. So machine shop is finished constructing. So now uh, everybody's got. Spider Mines, of course, Jim Rayner starts with them because he's a hero. Nice. Calling online. If we want, we can just grab one of these guys, build another bunker right here, give us some uh, crossfire. That'll be nice. Upgrade complete. That'll be good since we're going to have to attack eventually. As you can see, Goliath cost 150. Not too bad, not too bad. Upgrade complete. Gonna make some vultures. They're, they're pretty decent against uh, Zerg ground units. Of course, they're pretty much terrible against buildings, but what can we do? We're gonna need a starport eventually, so we might as well make one now. Now, all vultures come with three spider mines once you uh, get that upgrade, but they, they uh, 
last yeah, hit, but that's all you get. So three per vulture. You can make more vultures, but that still only gets you three. So plan accordingly. Yeah, Spider mines will stay up in the air a little bit, and all then right, once they are fully on. charged, they dig into the ground, becomes become very much uh, cloaked, and they have their own very very tiny te detector radius, which isn't actually depicted. Something and then they run and try and explode and kill everybody. No Pretty problem. nice. Oh, is that it? And they do 20 damage against uh, small units, but uh, only a quarter of that to buildings. All right, bring it so, on. it's kind of kind of unfortunate. I read you, sir. Vultures are used heavily by uh, really, really pro players to just sort of all of a sudden, boom, 12, uh, 12 of them are down. Well, Spider Mines are down like immediately. They're, they're, they're freaking crazy. Turning an extremely specialized unit into an extremely powerful force. Let's see. We're gonna want another barracks. We're gonna need to make more, um, more infantry. That's still upgrading, okay. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. Add on complete. Add on complete. Sweet. So now we should uh, research the cloaking field. Wraiths are not going to be helpful, as you can imagine, from all of these detector and anti air units. Very, very dangerous. Oh, wow. That was very, very useful, actually. It actually was totally, totally awesome. Oh, sweet, nice. All right, let's get ship plating. That'll be important. Once this is finished, we'll have... What the hell just happened? Oh, ensnare. They love to use ensnare. It really annoys me. All right, now that that's finished, you got to build some more supply depots. There's somewhere. Alright, there we go. Not enough minerals. Calling online. They haven't even they haven't even been attacking over here. It's amazing. Usually they're a lot more aggressive. Not quite sure what's going on. Upgrade complete. Nice. Research complete. Trying to run out of minerals, that's not good. You know, this being geyser is depleted, that's not good either. Nice. I'm not gonna add Jim Rayner with them because if he dies, the level ends, but. Grab these guys. Yeah, group one. Cool. That'll be group one. Let's make our attack against them. As you can see, the uh, vultures attack move really, really fast. be attacking against a sunken colony. They hurt very much. Damn it. Let's have him come back and repair. Cheaper than having to uh, rebuild a new one. Alright. Let's see how much uh, ground we've been able to cover. Oh. Boost impacts so they hit harder. Nice. This guy ain't gonna last long. 
Yep. Alright, well, here's the base, so we should be uh, focusing on killing them next time. Alright, so it looks like I'm going to have to take a break here. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. We will continue this level next time on the Cable Wonders. See you later.